Hallo, guten Abend hier, herzlich willkommen hier am Donnerstagabend bei der Cannes Yacht Festival 2023. Wir werden wieder ein Video, so werde ich zusammen hier mit Stefan Delfino machen, der hier lokal äh, in Südfrankreich vor Ort ist mit seinem Team Dolphy Services. Deswegen werden wir das Video in Englisch machen. Wir sind hier auf der 45 Cross Cabin, äh, dem Meisterstück, finde ich, meiner, meines Teams, was wir hier realisiert haben äh, oder mein Team realisiert hat, ist äh, absolut einzigartig. Äh, das heißt, wir haben das ganze Schiff zu unseren Vorstellungen in der Zusammenarbeit mit Axopar nochmal optimiert, verändert. Und so passt es auf jeden Fall, denke ich, wesentlich besser noch für den durchschnittlichen deutschen User im Mittelmeer oder auch an der Ostsee. Äh, Stefan äh, wird eine kleine Einweisung jetzt in Französisch machen und, und dann gehen wir in Englisch über. Hier. Der, 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 derjenige, der uns das filmt jetzt gerade, ist Jimmy. Und, 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 und Jimmy. Was not, it was not a good idea. So. Ja. Bienvenue à tous. Donc aujourd'hui, on est très heureux de vous accueillir avec Patrick Poch. On est au Salon de Cannes édition 2023. Et comme on vous a fait quelques vidéos, on va encore vous en refaire une sur l'Axopar 45 Cross Cabine avec ce bateau qui a été préparé en collaboration avec Axopar et Bot Polch et toute son équipe. Donc on est très heureux de vous présenter ce bateau ensemble ici dans la baie de Cannes au Salon Nautique de Cannes. Donc welcome everybody and let's start in English. The small discussion. Yes, a discussion. I think it's it like the last time. There's yes. not going to be much discussion because we have a very similar opinion. Yeah. So we should normally take somebody else on board. But yeah, um, yeah. you 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 are, you have been running your your company here the last, or you're running your company the last 25 years. 33 years. 33, 33 years. Excuse me. Uh, you have an, a commercial background. So you have yeah. been a captain yes. on a big boat. Yes. One of like bigger than the Irma, like this size, yeah. which we can see here right now. So not this brand for sure. So you've been cruising all around the Mediterranean, yes. and but you are out of this region here and you then 33 years started your company down here. Uh, we are colleagues from Nimbus, uh, then since more or less 33, no, no. Nimbus you started uh, in 2010. 2010. My family started, my parents started Nimbus in 1982. So, but from 2010 on, we, we know each other, we became friends and... Uh, like and we have also the same point of view, as we say, as you mentioned, we are more technical and more patient on how to use the boat, how to drive the boat. We are less commercial, we, we, are sell, we sell boat, but this is not the main issue. It's, we would like to explain our passion, we would like to upgrade how to use the boat and this is what we that we push us to continue and we have to say that with the brand Axopar that we meet with Nambus Group uh, we we have a customer which respects this yes yeah so yeah. we don't have these customers who who just want to show both the, the, these customers who decide to buy a Nimbus or an Axopar this is very nice that these two brands fit so well to each other even if it's a different customer yeah. but it's the same direction of a customer as it's a functional boat Seaworth uh, and very well driving, uh, so so this helped really much to to underline what we do, like the technical yeah. part, what we both like. We're selling many boats, but we are not like a big sales organization. No. So we we, we we focus on on the service, on the service, and uh, this is the main focus. This is on the main yeah. focus. Same in, in Germany with us with Water Polish. The same with uh, the team in Mallorca with we boat and on water with the teams in Switzerland. So. Everywhere, I, I would say, I call the friends in the Nimbus and Axipa group, we have all this same idea about how a customer should be. Key of the success as we follow since many years is first the service, second the service and third the service. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is the same in Trab. Yeah. And so that's why we always came along yeah. very well, business wise and for sure private wise. Uh, anyway, we became friends and for me, um, we have been supporting you even like very much already in, in 2015, 16, yeah. then a little bit less because I was also focusing very much in Mallorca and now we, you know, do more 
together, together again. again. You have been parallelly doing also loads of videos, so we have this very much in common. Otherwise, because we don't have any preparation of yeah. what we talk about. No, we, we, we just, we yeah, just we talk. Go. Yeah, we, but we go. We, if we remember, we, I think we, we did the first one in Gothenburg together yeah. under Should, the snow. You remember? Yeah, yeah I do remember. Yes. So, yeah, so. On the 4 or 5 coupe. Yeah. So it was since, the then, first, since yeah. then, there was many videos out. Yeah. 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 So, uh, again, so the people sometimes don't understand it. I just want to explain because you see so many big boats here now. So, Axopa, especially, Nimbus also a little bit, but Axopa is very strong when it comes to chase boats. Yes. A chase boat, I just want to explain what is in fact a chase boat. So, to, a, a typical tender is very expensive to have big enough and put on board. Because if you have a 30 meter boat, 40 yeah. meter boat, then you would like to have an eight meter tender. It's still one quarter of the big boat, yes. which is not possible. So you still have a small rib. Small, yeah. It will still be five meters, six meters or whatever, which is like one just like, coming there like this. But it's like, it's not really it's good enough. Not good and, enough. And very expensive. Too expensive. And what we also noticed with the big boat, and that was really strange when we start to sell uh, the tender to the big boat, uh, the owner, in fact, use a lot their boat, the Axopa, and they get pleasure. And instead of to be a tender, it become a, a private toy to the customer who enjoy to drive the boat. We have several examples like that where the but they the like owner, to drive this much more than the, than big, the big boat, boat. because the big yeah. boat is boring. Yeah, it's boring. Is, there is too much things to do. It's too complicated. It's a and house. Yeah. It's, a, it's a house you move. Yeah, but the fun is in the small boat. Exactly. And, and then to go with private with the, with the wife and very family. small family. So. We, 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 we notice sorry, this is more and more today. So it's, it was a tender, but not it extend the, the, the functionality of the tender. Yeah. And this is very interesting that it doesn't matter how much money people have, in yeah. the end, if it's a boater, it's not the, the size of the boat which makes him happy when it comes to boating. It's the, 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 ple way, the, pleasure, the pleasure, how the again. boat drives. Yeah. And there, Axopa, as we always point out, is, is also very, for us very unique yeah. when it comes to the to functionality drive. and the driving feeling is unique. Yeah. And this is what we, I think, are very proud of. Not I think, I am very proud. We're we also are, very we are, proud are. that Axopa was able to move this feeling into a 45 footer, yeah. which is absolutely unique yeah absolutely unique as you said and we they, they keep the the heart of the brand because it was so complicated to, to make a 45 and get the same feeling as we had with the 28 and the 37 so they succeed to do that and i think the customer will recognize that and we we do it we make several tests and it is true that you have so much pleasure to to drive the boat with a bigger boat so it's it's but a this great hap this happens when you then have a what is it 25 meter yeah, probably question, boat yeah, you have a williams behind and you're aboard of of taking it on the platform so you yeah. tow it behind and yeah this is you know what, what the owner daily faces the yeah. tender is always an issue so people decide there's there's also yeah. like, like students who then yeah. drive these yeah. these yeah. tenders in the summer times yeah. they have a they're living on board, on board. Yeah. and it's like i would tell it it's like a caddy yeah, yeah. at sea mm -hmm. like a or sprinter so it's like to get people on board well, off board it's to bring garbage off board yeah. it's to to bring buy the food, up, bring bring the food. The food. so it's like it's not like sometimes people think the tender needs to be super fashion and whatever it's not it's not like the sports car in no. the garage it's more the caddy but yeah. they want the caddy functional oh, funk, but also driving, driving good because fun. there's no space for a second yeah yeah, yeah. car Only in one. the garage so <laughs> they need to decide they go with the with the Porsche spider to yeah. the shopping or they take a, an, uh, um, um, like an avant car, like a, um, what is it, um, transporter. A, a transporter, yeah. but yeah. which is really driving nice. So, so they, instead of just, just staying home, yeah. The, where they are very good, Axopa, and that is really difficult to, to say. As you mentioned for the Porsche, the car, when, when, you, get the, when you get the Porsche. No, more than the sun. Yeah. He, he's in the shadow. Sorry. No worry. I will start back. Um, when you have the Porsche? Oh, yeah. When? Go down the way, yeah. yeah. So when, when, you are the, when you have the Porsche with the car, you take the pleasure to drive, but you are limited space inside. Now today we are on the Axopar 45, so we have the same feeling like a Porsche or a sportive car, but inside it's very functionality. We have space, 
a big space as you can see. We have aft cabin, we have front cabin and we can storage everywhere. So this is really a good thing that uh, Axopar succeed to make this. And one more thing, as Patrick mentioned, uh, you can have only one tender. So tender has to offer you a maximum of things. And I think Axopar reached that. This is why we get so much success with the tender. Yeah, it's, it's somehow fascinating when you're on a hotspot of yachts, how many Axopars are driving yeah. around. Even we never, like we never, we, we always wanted, but at some point we're just missing time uh, yeah. to do it. We still should do it. Yeah, we still, to, to but we have to, no time to, to, to do that. To, to really push the tender yeah. market. But in fact, it was like, it, it just grown from but itself from because itself. because every captain or first officer the crew, or the crew, yeah. they were so happy because it boat, just yeah. works. Because the boats are quite simple. Yeah. So just to say, an Axopar is a simple boat. boat. Yeah. And he has to keep the simple because more is simple, more is work. And uh, also, as you said, we, sh we should make something for the tender. But as you mentioned, it's do it by ourselves, itself, sorry. And the crew are, have pleasure with the boat. So they start with the 28 and then they are happy with the boat. So they grow up with a certain. So they seven. ask even the, yeah. the owner, yeah. they want the same boat exact, again. Yeah. So the crew is more or less the buyer, yeah. Yeah. more than the, the than owner. The owner. Yeah. Good. On this 45 particular heap, so we're having here on the boat show three versions. We have the sun top, the cross top is at the booth. So many, maybe of you visiting the boat show haven't even realized that we have three boats at the show. Yeah. It's a bit of pity because we had the, it's good because you can test the boat at the exactly. street dock. But for the visualization, it's not so clear that we have three 45s at the yeah. booth. Um, this one here and the, uh, tomorrow the cross top up to now was the sun top are lying at the sea trial pontoon. Um, the sun top and the cross top are very similar from the concept. Yeah. The cabin is still, I think, the most unique product Axopar has because yeah. they transferred the cabin as a boring product into a sexy product. And this exactly. is the name Cross Cabin, cross cabin. They invented from, from Janne, yeah. which, which uh, you know, made like, the different window a little bit not so, so ugly. It's, it, the, the design is nice. Yes and they succeed to also what we did not mention especially with the cabin is the advantage that you have the roof opening roof side door so you can be on an open boat and in the evening if the customer would like to go to the restaurant and they are well done they can be protect and this is also very it's good. a limousine feeling limousine yeah. limousine feeling air conditioning with on. easy with easy using yes and not boring or complicate things to be work so now we spoke lots about tenders which yeah. is probably not the main target, but we yeah. just wanted to explain it yeah. a little bit. Um, and so, but I can also see like a young, you know, young family. It's like in the in the caravan industry, I, we can really see it. You have these big caravans yes. where people realize, you know, you can't park anywhere, uh, yeah. or there's people who buying smaller, smaller ones, one. but very nice equipped to go, you know, really, they, they most likely not all going to the Sahara, yeah. but, but they look like going to the Sahara. To and be able it, to, to go to everywhere. Go everywhere. And they're very, you know, you can't say sporty, but they are, they look very kind of a little bit aggressive, sporty, modern, young. Yeah. And this is what you see in the caravan industry and people buying, you know, expensive setups for maybe not doing what it could do. And I think this is very similar here as well. So yes, you could buy a much bigger boat for that money, probably yeah. also like much more volume, more cabins, more, more bathrooms and all this kind of stuff, but it's gonna be boring driving it. And this, I think you know better yeah. than like, you have been a, a captain from a bigger boat. And in fact, a big, to drive a big boat is boring. Yeah, and also what we did never mention, but we will do it today, Axopa and Nimbus, what they did and why they have such a good success, they built first the wool and then they adapt the inside, which is a very good point for the people who like to drive and they buy a, a real proper wool to get pleasure. And on the other way, you have some other boat who built first the space and then accommodate the wool. So it's a different market without uh, criticize. Huh? It's a, a different way of you know, it, it's, it, it's a designer who decides where he puts priority hey, or exactly. the brand. It's or the brand. Yeah? yeah. So the designer does what the brand wants. So yeah. it's always like a volume thing. Yeah. You have well, functionality and driving experience and, and all this kind against volume, like space. Yeah. 
and, and sometimes also look, you know, the design and space is in competition with functionality and driving experience and, and, and agility. And, and the designer needs to decide where he puts where, it. Exactly. And Axopar is well, it's very nice, very clear with this positioning, yeah. even going on a 45 footer. They didn't, they could have, but they decided not to go in the big volume in the front no. cabin or big volume in the aft cabin. But they have loads of space, not very high sidewalk, yeah. so you feel you, you know you still feel the sea. Yeah, which you're, is you're in contact with the sea, very very um, special from the setup. Yeah. Also, what we did not mention yet, but we have big space on the inside cockpit on the 45 cross cabin, but we have also a very big space on the 45 cross top or even the sun top. You feel that you are on a bigger boat. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you compare with other brands, so and that was also the same feeling that we had when we received together the 37. Yes, in we the say, beginning. Yes, yeah, yeah, such yeah, a I big agree. space. I agree. And I the, and the other point was also, and this is also important, the quality is very good, but the price also is very. It's and this is why they succeed so much and so quickly because they succeed to make a very good product but with a very good value of Be price. Because they always calculate also already in their pricing yeah. a certain volume which they're going to produce, which was in the beginning, I would say, very yeah. brave. Ver very, very brave yeah. because they probably lost money on the first boat on the first, yeah. until they re reached a certain number when they then yeah. started to earn money. So there was a very brave decision yeah. to focus on a certain volume with a different modularity. Yeah. As this boat has the same base, then a complete open boat. It has different aft decks layouts yeah. with the aft cabin and open. So they use the same platform for different for different uses, layout, or, yeah. which brings the volume up and brings, in, in fact, the price for the and limit the owner. cost of the production to be able to get a, a very good price. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, we can just have one short look inside, um, as we did this morning already a complete video, but we just have a, a short feeling what from the inside. The, from yeah. the inside. Uh, you know, if you want to know more about this particular boat, I think the best is just um, to watch the video you did in French this morning and I did one in German. So, yeah, there's no English version, <laughs> but there's uh, good s subtitles you can take um, uh, online. So we have a, a kitchen module here in the middle, which is movable. We have a table behind. You can really see how big this boat is here yeah. from the interior. Ah. When we both sit here, it's like you know, David is now probably five meters five away meters. from me in, in the front. Big space. So very big space inside. And then when we flip this up, just for so the people to understand what an aft cabin is, so we just flip this up here. And then we have a cabin in the back, which is not mandatory. You can also have the boat open in the aft deck. And Jimmy, I think the best is if you just go in there with the camera and we just talk a little bit about it. This is an interior which is not standard, but it will be hopefully uh, soon in the 45 there's some waves coming now for you it's difficult to film so we have a, we a double bed there in the back and also a small toilet compartment which is optional so this is like yeah makes you possible to stay with two people overnight in the back and then another two people in the front Very unique is also that you can slide the doors both to the front and then open the back part, which then opens this um, center Space. part of the boat to the outside. Then I can move the, if I want, the wet bar to the front. And now this is very cool. I just, we both open now the, the it's called balcony doors which are fully manually, so there's no hydraulic or something needed. And now you have a full pass from the port to the starboard side, and we yeah. could even Speak talk to each that. other yeah. from each side, which you wouldn't do, but it just gives the feeling how much. David, could you open the aft window, please? The, the head, uh, sorry, the, the, the roll No, open yeah. it. So a As fully enclosed, sorry, yes, go, go ahead. Pardon. A fully enclosed boat gets into 30 seconds in an open boat. And this is, you know, you, you, this is what you mentioned in the beginning. As a tender or also the owner, you want a certain variability, variability in a boat. So you take an enclosed boat to be cruising to Corsica, to be safe with your family. Mm -hmm. You reach Corsica and you want to have an open boat. 
you're going to have a bad weather day, you want to have an enclosed boat. So it's very good how you can variate this yeah. here in the Axopar 45. And that also was the key of the success from Axopar to be able, as we mentioned before, the cabin, the version, the version cabin was not so nice with the design. So Jan succeeded to make a very attractive and sportive design, as we did mention. But also what they succeed to do is to have modularity. Uh, sorry to say this in English with a French accent, but anyway, you can change the space, the social space in different way. Today we can be at an open, but we can be closed, saved. So this is really interesting how they succeed to do that. So we can also even have one door, you know, for the functionality, we could have one door in the front and one, and one door on in the, the back. back. So this is, you know, everything, you know, up to the situation because maybe you have a cold wind from this so side. We open um, this side. We yeah. open this side. You know, you're very flexible without having a flybridge extra, which yeah. is just a hassle to open up, and close, up and, up and down. down yeah. So everything on one level here. <laughs> Jimmy, stay with us. <laughs> so we go in the front, Kevin. Also details, you have like a garbage can on both sides here and the cushion for sure fully equipped. I think Jimmy goes what? in again and we just talk. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> he's, he's too big for that. No, just show the front, please. Oh, Jimmy, look, just show. Yeah. So we have a cupboard here on the port side with big drawers. But this is an option Stick. which will soon hopefully come from the Axapa side, which we realized here, and then we have the big bed in the front. We have a TV here, a frame TV. This is options which are not officially on the Axapa price list, but hopefully they will be soon. So this is a concept boat. We call it travel concept, where we have like storage here below the beds on each side, easy access. And we also have big drawers below the bed, where we just have our, all our film equipment down here. So this, again, is the concept. Um, but there's loads of positive feedback on this. So then you can do the other side, Stefan. So the yeah. diving doors where we can open both sides. I just need to put the step up as well. So you can go out and also leave them open. So another option where the boat takes as the balcony doors in the back and the sliding side doors where the boat takes the outside to the inside or the inside to the outside where it's very variable to get air inside and change and the ambience also. and change you, the ambience completely to, yeah like to a cabriolet feeling even in the front cabin exactly established first time with the 37 the toilet room jimmy you could just please showing once with a big mirror on the door and shower and storage all over the toilet room so you can really stay a long time on board if you would like to do then we move to the front it's difficult to film with two so the guiding doors looks quite cool leave it open for a second jimmy please so this is also south of France. If you film to the front, it's a quite cool look when the guiding doors are open, then it's also easier to understand how that looks. So we just close them now, both down. Big sun bed in the front where we can easily be with two. And comfortable. It's comfortable, like very safe on the side with the, when you are driving through the, through the waves. <laughs> You can put um, some glass here yes. and then and you have a, secure. a table, table here yeah. in the front, which I really like because sitting in the front means having the wind uh, yeah. in, in coming from, from the front always because the, the boat puts itself in the position. So you always have more fresh, room, yeah. more fresh air more in the fresh. front. And also when you are at the harbor, you most of the time you doesn't want to be, to, to be on the back where everybody can see you. You can go on the front. And as we said before, all the space can be changed and we have different social time as we can see simple cushion on the front but it gives you another way of life so and we have a, a cushion here as well, well made yeah. now from from our side to can make, extend make a, the, the, the extended sunbed 
Very oh. typical yeah. for Axapa. Yeah, we both, <laughs> uh, that, was, that was synchron. Yeah? Synchronization. <laughs> synchronization. We have the roof racks uh, established, I think, in the beginning, even we, from we us. Start, yeah, yeah, yeah. together to it, make this. It's and now today. every boat nearly having it with yeah. the kayak and the stand-up paddling board. Um, yeah, and that's, I think then we have a proper good anchor solution on that boat. Yeah. 16 kilo anchor, big cleats. So this is all very important for us. Yeah, that there the to... table is stored. We have a V V2 anchor winch from Luma, proper winch. And proper hanging of the ropes and everything. And storage on the back. Yes. Also table and the feet are fixed on the front storage yeah. on the right. So everything is very well done. So let's go let's to the go. back. So on the way back, I'm just going to close the balcony door on the port side. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. So as we mentioned, also, we have very good side. So we have a sidewalk, very protect. You can move all around the boat very easily. So that is also a good point. Don't throw it to the sea, Jimmy. Big sunbed yeah. in the back because of the this is huge. Poor people Great. can lie here. Look at this amazing wow. sunset there. Beautiful. We can be um, fit like with three person. It's a, the yeah. sun cushion is very large. It's a perfect place. Yes, Actually. very very nice. With the cushions here, really nice space. Yeah. Rod holders, storage up here. It's quite a cool idea into the net. Yeah. Triple engine. Wet bar here on the starboard side with a fridge. Fridge. This is optional and a small sink. And we still have the storage on the lower part where you, you get space. Yes. And on the <laughs> port side we have a huge uh, fender box. Yeah. And this big uh, window window in the back, very cool for the aft cabin. We saw it before from inside. And one more thing that we mentioned since the, since the third mat, ski mast, which is also good to, for the security because you can always hold on here. Yeah, it's a hand rail, we say, so two functionality in one, in one uh, option. So that is a really things, very good things to be protected and run all around the boat. Good. I think we need to head in. People are waiting for yeah. us. Your wife at home. Maybe. Uh, I want to go <laughs> a little bit of a swim, maybe. So yeah, let's head back. Thanks yeah. for watching. This was film from Jimmy, which made it not that the most serious video, but I think what we said was serious. But yeah. if we laughed in between a little bit, it's because of this guy here. But, but we have know, patience. So <laughs> as Axopa brand said, adventure company. We are on the adventure with Jimmy. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay. Bye-bye. See you.